Hey everyone, um, I want to do a video to um, help everyone when they're looking for a pair of sunglasses. I know it can be a daunting task and um, some people hate it, especially if they have a feature on their face or body that they, that they don't like, like the nose or ears or eyebrows or something like that, that makes it hard to find a pair of sunnies. Um, but it doesn't have to be that difficult, you just need to know um, the right features to look for for your face. Um, so one of the first things to consider is um, when you put the pair of sunglasses on they shouldn't be too big on your face and how you can tell this is that it should kind of um, rest up on the side of your face like it shouldn't sit too far out. If they're sitting too far out um, they're too big and they'll look a bit weird. Um, the only exception to that rule is if you're um, wanting a pair of oversized sunglasses which are kind of in the seat at the moment. Um, so these are a pair of sort of oversized sunglasses and as you can see they, they sit out a bit from the side of the face but not too too much. So um, that's just one thing you've got to look out for. Um, another is when you try them on you've got to know that they're comfortable um, and that they're not going to you know fall off and so how you check that is you put your sunglasses on and you lean forward and like look at the ground if they don't fall off and if they feel like secure on your face um, that's a good fit. Um, another way to tell is that sunglasses shouldn't rest on the cheek, they should rest on the nose. Um, and I know people um, with uh, Asian features can find this really hard. A good way to, um, a, a good pair of sunglasses to pick if you find that you know you've got high cheekbones or a flat bridge of the nose and you find that all the sunglasses you're trying on sit on the cheek is to get um, a shield type um, or a sunglass. And if you don't know what this is, um, uh, think of something that's like uh, not not a nylon frame. They it'll usually be a metal frame or you know one single panel that goes across. And these have um, nose pads that are adjustable. And so you can adjust them to sit on your nose no matter what kind of nose, how fat, flat your nose bridge is and or how, chi how high your cheekbones are, sorry. And um, yeah, so that's always a good option if, um, if you find that your sunglasses are always sitting on your cheeks. Um, yeah, they really shouldn't and it, you'll find it becomes quite uncomfortable if you're wearing them for long periods of time. Um, and you also want to consider what you want your sunglasses for. If you um, are around the water a lot, or outside playing golf or tennis in the glary sun, um, it's a good idea to get a polarised lens. And this is the highest protection of um, lens you can get, and the polarised lens will um, cut out all of that glare. Um, so it's especially good if you're around the water or at the beach a lot. Um, other than that, you can get a category 1, 2, 3 and 4. Category 4 is only for extreme sports, so um, don't even bother looking at them if you want them to drive because it's illegal to drive with them. Um, category 3 is the one you want. Um, it offers the, the highest protection and you can still wear it driving. Category 2 is still, still pretty good. Um, category 1 is probably more your fashion sunglass and it won't offer much protection at all. Um, so these are just some things to consider when you're um, buying some sunglasses. I hope these um, are helpful hints. And yeah, happy shopping!